Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at something from the self-defense or less than lethal category. This is the compact personal launcher from Pepperball right here. Now we've looked at some of the other stuff like the, the pistols and the life light, which is the flashlight uh, one that holds like seven or six or seven pepper balls inside of it or inert balls. But those are kind of big and bulky but they work as, as like a couple different things, a flashlight, laser pointer. If you just want something that's just more geared towards personal protection and you don't want to use a pepper spray setup because you, maybe you want a little bit better distance that you could uh, stop someone at, well, the compact launcher is uh, a, maybe a better choice for you. So the way it's set up right here is you get one shot out of it and it'll shoot up to 30 feet or so, but you get one use out of it before you need to refill it or reset it, I guess. Um, so here it is. So we've got a preloaded barrel or front tube section that has one pepper ball in it, one live SD pepper ball. Or if you're using this tube, you could switch it out and have one inert pepper ball. So it just has like the baby powder talc inside of it. We've got a trigger right here and then our safety. So when our, uh, our collar here is in the safe position, we can't push on that. But if I rotate that down to fire, if I pushed on it, it would shoot. I don't want to do that because there is a CO2 canister in here and there is a round inside here as well. So I'm going to rotate that back to safe. And you can see down in there that there's one pepper ball sitting down inside of there. Um, we're going to take it apart in a second. I'll show you what's going on inside of there. Your rear section holds your um, CO2 canister right here. Um, this one says N2, so maybe this is nitrogen filled canister, which is a little different. I'm sure you could use a CO2, should work just the same. And then our end cap right here. Our end cap has some grooves so that you can get a hand on it and turn it, but it also has an Allen key slot on the back in case it's too hard to turn by hand, you could drop the Allen key in and rotate it off. Now all these pieces do disassemble. Let's uh, take it apart. Well, let's look at the two packages first, I guess. So this gets you, um, the compact launcher gets you the, the, the tool itself, plus one pepper ball and one cartridge already installed inside of it. The refill kit gets you one pepper ball, one inert round, and then two cartridges. They also sell a version of this refill kit that has two pepper balls in it and two cartridges rather than one and one. You get two of these and two of these. So you can choose which way you want to do it. Let's break this thing down. So this, everything just spins apart. If I grab this and I rotate, I can pull this apart right here. And we can see that the tube itself, the barrel end, which has the one pepper ball inside of it, also has a pin at the end right here. So this is kind of like a puncture pin for the cartridge itself. Now this doesn't move. It doesn't slide back and forth. Uh, it just stays in a static position just like this. This right here is our on off or our safety and our fire. We'll put it back in safety. And then back here, if I unscrew this back cap, you'll see that the back cap itself has a spring built into it. Right there. So there's the cap and the spring. If I tilt it down, our cartridge falls out. And then you can see that that is empty all the way through. Now, the way that this works, so you understand why you might need to refill it or replace it, the cartridge goes inside. And before we put the cartridge in, we want to make sure that our safety is on and that our button is up. See, right now, I could push this button down and you can see that piece moving inside there. And you can see how when it's forward like this or um, unpressed, how it kind of is blocking the path right there. If I push it down, you can see that it goes into a complete circle. And that is important as to how this works. So let's put this back in safety. I can't push that down. Let's take our cartridge, put it in and screw it together. So right now the spring that's in this cartridge cap is pushing on the cartridge itself and it's trying to force it forward. But because the trigger mechanism right here is in the way, it can't go anywhere. If I rotate this to fire and then I push the button, let's see if I can do it with you guys being able to see it. What that does is it forces the cartridge forward when that circle of the trigger gets far enough down so that the nozzle, the top part of the um, canister can fit through it. It blasts through and it's 
pushes forward. What that will do is then push forward into the pin and it will puncture the cartridge, releasing all of the air that is inside the cartridge at one time, forcing one ball out the end. When we're done, we can unscrew this. And the cartridge itself will get stuck in there because it's being held in place by this. So all we need to do is tilt it down and push on the firing mechanism and the pin or the cartridge will drop right out. And this resets itself. We flip it back to safe, put our new cartridge back in and go ahead and screw this back together. And the whole process can be started again. So that's why we've got our reusable. It isn't reusable, but it's not reusable in the sense where you can just put another ball in it. You do need to replace the cartridge. I'm not sure why you need to replace the cartridge. I don't know if when this fires forward, if it damages this pin in some way or another, because each one of these has a new pin on there. It might deform the pin slightly so that um, if you tried to reuse it, it wouldn't allow gas to go through it properly. I don't know. Um, but it does say specifically in the instructions that if you do use it, replace it with another one. Does It doesn't say anything about just jamming another ball back down inside there, putting it back together and shooting it. So follow the instructions, do it as they want and um, get a new one right there. Uh, it's a great little setup right here. If you're looking for something that is definitely smaller than the, uh, than the, the whatchamacallit, the um, life light. That's what I was looking at right there. Um, definitely smaller, definitely more compact. Uh, a different kind of setup right here. So looking at something you can just slip in your pocket, slip in your purse, and you don't seem to need anything that's big and bulky with a flashlight and a laser on it. Check this out right here. Pepperball Compact Launcher. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.